So if you found your way to this video, you might be just like me and you have found yourself looking for professional audio. You look online, you see very confusing audio interfaces that doesn't look like you're gonna be able to know how to work it. You don't understand what you need, what you don't need, but long gone are the days of confusing audio interfaces. Enter the Audient Evo 4. The Evo 4 is one of the newest audio interfaces from the company Audient. Audient makes a bunch of different products that vary in price and performance, and you might not have known where to start. A lot of the audio interfaces that Audient offers also look confusing as well, but you saw the Evo 4, you thought it looked cool. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what this thing's about. So there are definitely quite a few things to be excited about on the Evo 4, and one of them is the smart gain feature, which we will dive into later. All right, so taking a look at the back of the Evo 4, you're gonna notice that you have a range of different inputs. On the far right, you have your two XLR inputs where you can input a microphone or an instrument. And then here in the middle, you're gonna have your left and right monitoring input. So if you wanna monitor levels, and then on the far left under the logo, you're going to have your USB-C connection to where you can plug that into your computer. Now on the other side, you're gonna see right here, you have your dedicated instrument input and your headphone output so you can actually listen to what you want to through the Audient Evo 4. All right, so taking a look at the top, you're going to have this massive gain knob, which obviously you guys know this is gonna be used to set the gain on both of your inputs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing set up by using the included USB-C to USB-A cable that comes in the box with the Evo 4. And just for reference, what we're gonna be testing the Audient Evo 4 with is my Shure MV7, which is a dynamic microphone. And just so you guys know, you will need to purchase your own XLR cable because the Audient Evo 4 does not come with one. All right, so to start hooking this up, we're going to hook in our USB-C cable to the top. You see, you get a little flash there. Now you can select your input one and you're able to adjust the gain to whatever you want it to be. All right, so the next part in the setup is we're going to install the XLR cable to the output on my Shure MV7. And then we are going to install the XLR cable into the input on channel one of the Evo 4. All right, so we have everything physically connected. There are a couple of settings that you need to change inside of Windows in order to get the Evo 4 to work with your mic and work with Windows and so on. Let me go ahead and show you that now. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do inside of Windows is you're gonna wanna come down here to the bottom right of your screen. Where you see the little speaker, you're gonna wanna right click that and open sound settings. Once you open your sound settings after you've plugged in the microphone, plugged it into the Evo and then the Evo into your computer, you're going to want to select your input. Now remember, we plugged in the Shure MV7 into input one on the Audient Evo 4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this drop-down box. Now there are going to be a lot of options, don't let that overwhelm you. If all you're using is a microphone, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select mic line one out of two. Now, if you use the second input on the Evo 4, it would be mic line two out of two, but we're gonna select mic line one out of two. After you do that, you can exit it out. Everything should be good to go. All right, so, so far we have connected everything physically and we have changed the settings inside of Windows that we needed to. So now what we need to do is we need to download the actual drivers and the software for the Evo 4. You can do that by looking up Evo 4 on Google and it'll bring you to this webpage. Once you do that, what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down a little bit until at the top you see downloads. Click that. Once that loads, what we're gonna do is we're going to download the Windows drivers or Mac drivers if you're using Mac. And we'll get that installed. I already have it installed. Just go ahead and follow the command prompt to install it. And then I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right guys, so after you've downloaded and installed that, you will need to sign up. Once you've signed up, you will be greeted with this screen. So what has happened so far is we physically connected everything, changed settings inside of Windows, installed the drivers, signed up for the Evo 4 software, and now we are here. So, so as you can see here, we have everything that would be on the physical unit inside of the software. So over here on the left, right here, where you see these audio input levels coming in, that is going to set your gain for input one. If you had multiple inputs, you could set the gain over here for input two. So right now I am running at 100% gain that the Evo 4 is supplying 58 decibels to my microphone. All right, so inside of the software below the number one input monitor, you're going to have your 48 volt 
power button that will activate your 48 volts of phantom power that the Evo 4 will supply to your microphone. So on my MV7, I actually have an XLR output and I have a micro USB output. So the MV7 can be used without an audio interface, but let's go ahead and test it out what it sounds like compared to the XLR output with the Evo 4 attached. All right guys, so we're back with the MV7 plugged in straight USB. We are not using the Evo 4, so we don't have any of the decibel increase from the Evo 4. This is just a microphone check. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Microphone check one, two, one, two. This is a test just USB to the computer from the MV7 directly without the Evo 4 interfered. Let's go ahead and switch back over from the MV7 XLR output to the Evo 4 right now. All right, guys, so we are back testing the microphone plugged in with the XLR to the Audient Evo 4 to my computer. So what you guys are going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to switch back and forth in the video from the MV7 plugged in directly USB and the MV7 plugged in to the Evo 4. So this is just going to be a microphone check, one, two, one, two, microphone check, one, two, one, two, microphone check. I'm getting really tired of saying this, honestly. All right, so I hope you guys were able to get a good listen to what the MV7 sounded like plugged in both ways through USB and through the Evo 4. Now, it is my opinion that the MV7 plugged in USB only is much louder, but it's more of a harsh sound. When it's plugged in through the Evo 4, it is a much more natural and warm tone, and it's not very harsh. It's not a very piercing sound. So in my opinion, the Evo 4 definitely does do its job very well. It brings more of a natural tone, what you actually sound like, through to your stream or your podcast or, you know, videos like this one. So, all right, guys, I know that this wasn't the most detailed review. I am not that savvy of an audio file, if that makes any sense. I did do my best to try to portray what it takes to set up the Evo 4 and what all it comes with and some of its main features. You guys can go out there and test it for yourself. It is a very costly, if it is a very cost effective. Hmm. It's a very cost effective solution to wanting to plug in your microphone or your instrument and record that straight to your computer for your podcast streams or like I said before, videos like this one. I would definitely leave a link in the description down below for you to check it out. If you guys did like this video, leave it a thumbs up, maybe even hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. So, all right, guys, I know that this wasn't the most detailed review. I am not that savvy of an audio file, if that makes any sense. I did do my best to try to portray what it takes to set up the Evo 4 and what all it comes with and some of its main features. You guys can go out there and test it for yourself. It's a very cost-effective solution to wanting to plug in your microphone or your instrument and record that straight to your computer for your podcast streams or, like I said before, videos like this one. I would definitely leave a link in the description down below for you to check it out. If you guys did like this video, leave it a thumbs up, maybe even hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.